Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hyperlight Gaming, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we left off, we got all four Sheikah Shrines, and we got a Paraglider as well. And we are on our way to head off the Great Plateau, finally, so we can begin the true adventure. We were instructed by the King of Hyrule to head over to past the Doling Peaks to find Impa in Kakarika Village. So without further ado, let's fly out the Great Plateau and start our true adventure. Let's go! And man, I can't tell you how awesome paragliding is. It's just... You can just... It's like soaring in like Batman in Arkham City. But uh, yeah. And I lost two hearts there. But Gatepost Town Ruins, Hyrule Kingdom. We have finally entered Hyrule Kingdom. Fuck off, Great Plateau. Goodbye. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's travelers here. Need my help. Oh man. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's use our new traveler sword. Hup, hup, go, die. Uh. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. Whoa. Oh, so you want some of this? Uh. Uh. Eat it. Yeah! Dead. And thanks for the drops. Oh man, thanks. I mean, well, you better take three. Okay, I appreciate the help back there. Enduring meat and rice bowl. Oh, thank you. And we got something that filters them in a bowl slightly. We gotta get to safety. Hey, what are you guys doing all the way out here? Sheesh. Hey, give me some food, lady. Mm. Oh, Alright, we shouldn't count ourselves lucky for that. And uh, this is actually the first time we've encountered NPCs beside the king. He doesn't count though, because he's dead. But, uh, anyway. Man, you guys are okay. But, uh,. I like how she's sitting against the wall. That's that's interesting. That's a cool feature. Wow. They put a lot of detail in this game. Hey, Mina. Hey. What's your number? Bye. Um. So, yeah. Once we get out of here, from here on out, things are way harder. There is absolutely zero hold hand, hand holding. There are going to be moblins, lazelfos, all sorts of shit. And it's going to be hard. But luckily, my dick is hard. So, I can endure this. Let's get started. Now, the Doling Peaks is actually that way, so I'm gonna head straight over there. Maybe I can find a horse on the way, though. I see zero horses. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I s don't see any horses, sadly. It could make things a lot easier, and damn, I need to put my clothes on. I just remembered I was running around naked. Well, not naked, but you know. Alright, let's go. Ooh, another encampment. Let's go loot the rests. Well, actually, I have an idea. No. Circular bomb. And let's watch it happen. Wait. Nope. Never mind. Screw it. I'm rushing his ass. And you're alone, too. No one to save you. Bye. So let's steal his spear. And hopefully if I can make this just right. If I can throw this over there. Oh shit. He sees me. How can I get that bomb over there? Maybe. Oh fuck, they see me. Screw it. Let's do this. Oh, damn you. Oh, gotta eat. I should have cooked before I fought these dudes. They were a lot harder than normal moblins. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. Just keep on going. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Gotta eat. Gotta eat my meal. Alright, let's do this. Back in the battle. I need a flurry rush. Alright. Take him out with this bomb. Go! Got all three of them. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. Back up, back up. Whoa, there's another one flying. Shooting over there. I gotta throw this shit at him. I miss. Okay, that's it. I can't take these guys. I'm gonna take my Boogie Club and dip. Bye. Come on. Disperse. Boom. Goodbye. Oh man, we're killing my ass. Okay, they're done. I can't take them. Oh man. 
I was close. Got my ass handed to me. Personally. On a stick. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try my luck with these guys then. Throw! <laughs> Shit. They did not notice that. Alright, throw this one. Kaboom! Assassin. Okay, so let's take care of him first, one by one. Die. And he's dead. One more. I can take one blue one. Whoa, shit. Oh, my shield. It's on fire. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. Nice. Flurry rush. Go, 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 go. Okay, so in advance, I should use this spit right next to me to cook some food food. I have the necessary materials, so let's start cooking. Alright, I'll use an apple, a chili pepper, that, an acorn, and do I have any meat on me? Don't think so. Wait, this Joy-Con's being weird. I can't... Hmm, never mind. <laughs> Simmered fruit. Nice. Okay, cool. Thought my Joy-Con was malfunctioning. Alright, let's see here. Hold that. More acorns. And a Hyrule Bass. Let's see what we can get from this. Energizing Mushroom Skewer. Okay, I think that's enough food to make. Now let's head off into Hyrule. So the dueling peaks is straight ahead, so all I gotta do is just run straight. Hopefully no stowl book up. Actually, I'm gonna sleep next to this fire. We'll sit to it. And there's a treasure chest. I almost, I almost left the chest! Damn. Soldier's Claymore. Awesome. More strong. Okay, let's sit there until morning now. And we won't be ambushed. Okay, so let's head over to the Dueling Peaks. And once we get over there, we will see more NPCs and interesting characters. And we'll be able to buy our own horse. Well, you know, catch our own horse. And register at a stable. There's a shrine over there. Should I take it? Yes, I should. Get out of my face! Bye! Die! Oh, I missed. Alright. Die! Okie dokie. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Oh, interesting. But yeah, there is a lot to explore in this game. So hopefully we can get there. If only I had a horse. Oh, there's a moblin up there. So I actually love the new moblin designs. They look like ant eaters, <laughs> honestly. And they're lean and muscular now instead of being fat. See, so yeah, that's interesting. So we're gonna get a flurry rush right here. Yeah. Let's do this. Kill his ass. Whoa. That was close. Die. You want some? Oh, shit. Oh, my, oh, my weapon. Alright, torch. He's flamed her ass. I'm gonna take his weapon now. Get out of here. Stupid chew! Whoa! Uh, step aside. And let me get your horn. Because I am a horny. Moblin horn. Alrighty. So let's keep our pushing on. Oh, look at that. What is this? What does this symbolize? Oh, there's another one over there. Cool. Let's kick his ass. I have no arrows. Whoa, that was a bad idea. Shit, 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 shit. He killed me. I should have ate. Damn it. Why would I do that? Fuck. Okay. Boko Spear. Eat it! 
<laughs> you just fucked your teammates over, mate. Oh my god, that was funny. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and, yeah I, you just got revenge for that. Uh, flurry rush, bitch. Pen Penetrated the booty. Alright. Well, this dude really took care of half of them for me. Nice going, dipshit. Oh, man. He really killed his own teammates. That was hilarious. I love that. Uh. Ooh, so much supplies. Interesting. Blackened crab. That's racist. Arrow. My first arrow. Yes. So I have gotten zero arrows right now. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate the support. And some meat. What I'm really here for. And the tutor chest. Treasure chest. And Opal, yeah, let's sell this on eBay. Or Amazon, whichever one bids highest. Okay, so let's go on this bridge now. And as you can see, there was actually an NPC. Wait, wait. Is there? Um. Uh, oh no, I'm actually off track. But there's actually a stable right over there. Yeah, I'm way off track, hell. Where am I? Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, he's all the way over there. There's a stable right over here. I'm gonna go check it out. And there goes opponent's music. Oh, there's a shrine right there. Hopefully I can throw this axe right over at the fox. Don't miss. Shit, so far off. Okay, so I'm gonna use my soldier's claymore and kill that fox. Wait. Never mind, I'll just leave it alone, I guess. I need... Oh, that's right, I have a bow. I'll just use that. Ah. Oh, well. Reser Riverside Stable. Huh. Yeah. Ah, customer, are you traveling alone? This inn gets full markets for beauty, so I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river here makes for some lovely scenery, and if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Millennial Sandbar. The scenery there is every bit as lovely as the scenery here. I'm something of a con connoisseur of beauty, you see. I simply can't resist a beautiful sight. Yeah. I try to exude this in all things, but not least of all my own beautiful- Are you serious? We have a narcissist over here. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you have the most beautiful features? Oh, oh thank you. Uh, I do have many fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, will you indulge me? I'll listen, I guess. Ooh. Oh, you would? Even more beautiful on the inside. Now let's see. If you head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by that foul aura. Yeah, I can see that. It has long been a den of monsters, but in its glory days, it was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that very castle, in those very days, that my ancestor, hmm, my grandfather's grandfather, I believe. Anyway, he worked at the castle appointed chef. I couldn't believe it myself. Oh, how I wondered what sorts of cuisine Ooh. members of the royal court enjoyed in those whole days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of that beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Only, oh, if things have been different. Gourmet, dip spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. <laughs> oh my, I think I'm salivating. And it's my pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see. Oh my god. You're fat. You got a gut right there, bruh. These days, I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty with any traveler willing to listen. But I, would but I wonder what could have been, anyway. Excuse me, I seem to have caught myself prattling on. Indeed. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and disgusting meals of beauty and rekindling my desire. Wait, wait, symmetry? It's Death the Kid! Oh! If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in you to see, keep an eye out for Cookbook? So, so, you really expect me to go in there? You think it's lying there? In the Calamity? Wow. This guy is not only a narcissist, but he's also retarded. He even has the face of a goddamn baboon. That's how big his brain is, the size of a goddamn baboon's. Wow. So, wait, one, he thinks that we're gonna head in there, which is true. But two, he thinks that there's actually a cookbook in there. How stupid. But I guess it doesn't help to, like, you know, 
complain. Like, I guess it's good to, like, you know, at least be optimistic in this calamity. But there's actually a shrine here, and we're gonna take care of it now. I didn't actually see this the first time I played this game, but we're gonna do it now. Wagokata Shrine. And these names are interesting. Let's hit inside. The Blue Dick. From now on, I'm calling these shrines the blue dick, well, you know, the orange dicks. And I give all credit to Ouija, Ouija Plays. Check out his channel, he's hilarious as hell. We, I'll put his channel in the description, Ouija Plays. Watch his how to smash videos. Skip. Metal Connections. Wagakata Shrine. And there he is, right up there, waiting for us to meet him. So let's face this trial, and this is pretty open, isn't it? Interesting. Okay, so there are some metal blocks here that we can use. I think. Yeah, yeah. I imagine we can make a staircase. Hmm. Whoa, 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 interesting. Oh, okay, I see now. So it automatically transforms into a staircase, so I'm gonna... Move this to the side right here. Oh, physics. <laughs> These physics this physics engine is awesome. Alright. Hup. And there's a chest right there. Yeah. Ember. Alright, let's jump down. Hup. I'm gonna try to have the paraglider. I could have died right there. Okay, what do I do next? Oh, I see. I gotta move these right over here. So a one, a block, yeah. A two, a block, yeah. A three, a block, yeah. And a stack, yeah. Oh, bad. Okay. So, one, shit. Okay. There. And uh, done. Now to climb up. You can make it link. No matter how unsymmetrical they are. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Um. Okay, so we got to make a makeshift bridge over here. But it does not seem big enough. How should I do this? Hmm. I think I have an idea, but we're gonna have to test it. Maybe they can make a catapult. Oh, come on. Get over here. Damn it. Uh, fuck. Alright. Come up here. Let's go right there. Okay, I think that I have to bring one of these up there. Maybe I can make a ramp to paraglide across. Okay, so I put this down right there. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, I have a great idea. Let's stack these on top, and I paraglide off. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was so close. I nearly died right there. Sheesh. Oh, are you kidding me? So now I... Ah, oh, now I gotta start all over. But where am I? I'm stuck here. Sheesh. Wow. I can climb up them and paraglide across. You see, this is like this shows you can play this any way you want. I would I think I'd have to use something like, you know, I'd have to use that for some reason, but instead I decided to use these to paraglide across. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can make it. Yes. Indeed. Nicely done. Yes, we're gonna receive another spirit orb. Yep, I know all this shit. Skip. Wow, they have different poses. Huh, he's like praying. I believe not. Oh, look at that! There's a specific character right over there, and we're gonna head over to him. 
This is actually a very iconic character that reappears in the Zelda series several times on Skyward Sword and Wind Waker, and I love him. It is our good friend, Beetle. Just look at that red nose. Yes. Yeah. The moving merchant. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. I have. The name's Beetle, but you can call me, actually, just, just with Beetle. But even if you forgot my face, you can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fill your shipping knees. In stock, many special bugs must have items for travelers, and that's, I always charge a fair price. Or my... my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things, if you're in particular need of rupees, gemstones, and in particular, fetch a high pit. Zaza. Zaza, what the fuck? That was cringy as hell. How can I help you today? What have you got? <laughs> Actually, I can't really buy anything. I should sell first. Oh. My gemstones. All of them. Okay, 60 <laughs> rupees, nice. So we're getting rich, we're ballin', we are a true Hylian now. But there's actually some opal I can sell too. Wow! 120! Wow Yay. indeed! And now let's see if I have any more. You know, I actually didn't run into Sepe Talus while I was up in the Great Plateau, but oh well, I'll find another one later on. And uh, that's about it. That's all I'm wanting to sell. What have you got, sir? <laughs> I need some arrows. Oh, shit. Bye. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, let's buy this bug here. Wow. And I'll buy another arrow. Wait, he has 20? I'll buy all of them then. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Beetle. Goodbye. <laughs> and look at that six pack, man. This guy is ripped. That's what you get from carrying a giant backpack like that. I wonder if carrying a backpack like that is possible. Hmm. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, he actually gave us our first side mission. I forgot to mention that. And before I go any further, I will show you the inside of an inn. Yes, you can sleep inside of here, but sadly you can't see... Oh, look at that! Another side mission, and somebody's out there too! See, the NPCs are so awesome! Yeah. Have you gone to the giant castle north of here? Have you? That's Hyrule Castle. Said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. Well, duh, that's obvious. There's calamities swirling all over. You used to sneak in there? Are you serious? Oh, wait, too dangerous. Okay. Uh... These days it's surrounded by an. What does she mean used to? That would mean that she's like a hun over a hundred years old. Holy shit. This is plot. This is plot holes. Back when it was safer, I went in looking for. When was it, when was it ever safer? When was it ever safer? In your age. It's been a hundred years! Wow. Okay, so, uh, another side quest. They wanted to go on a side, and, and, you know, Howard Castle. But, wow. <laughs> Plot holes. Aww. You know, the leader of the Yiga clan? Lo Wait, what? Wait, Yiga clan? What's that? Ah. So, um, th the Liga, if you don't know the Yiga clan, I shouldn't spoil it. You get clan of like a special group of people that are actually... Uh, I shouldn't say it. But let's just say that they're the opposite of the Shika clan. Shit. I need food. So we're gonna head back to where we were going first. And head back to Kakariko Village now. Why did he just bring up the Yiga? Why would he just bring up the, the Yiga clan? Like, like, like that. Um, <clears throat> why would he just bring up the Yiga clan like that? Like, okay, I'm gonna say it now. The Yiga are the opposite of the Sheikah. They are another faction that works against the Sheikah, and they work for a Calamity Ganon. Whenever the Calamity struck, the Yiga clan, like the Sheikah clan, split into two factions. The Sheikah, who remain with the Hylians, on the good side. And the Yiga, who went with the uh, Calamity Ganon. So yeah. We're basically gonna have some fight some Sheikah in this game that are, you know, the Yiga clan. And they're gonna be tough. I fought one before, and they are really hard to beat. The best way to beat them is to uh, get a flurry rush on them, and you know, attack them from there. 
attack him from there. Bleh. Can't talk today. Oh, that, is that another shrine? Oh, wow. Did not see that before. Okay, I'm not gonna do that now because, like, I gotta get on with the story. So, as I was saying, if you look over there, there's actually another NPC staring at something over there. So, let's see what he's staring at. Oh, you see a booty over there? Let me get in on it. Let's go. That the end is near. Oh. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that well, let's just say it's better than most. Oh. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry. What are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at the good time. By the way, those strange things that popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those orange dicks. They seem to have popped all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that happened. Those long deserted orange dicks suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what this means, right? The end is near. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? What thing? Oh. Talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that old thing over there? It should look an overturn urn. That is what I'm talking about. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them chased me once and tried to kill me. This one here? Nah, it was a different one. Uh, that one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot you they shoot blue blooms of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflex that saved me? Ha, <laughs> I wish true it is. True is. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Will do, Brigo. Don't die on me, Brigo. Goodbye, Brigo. But uh, yeah, these guardians are scary, and they are some tough enemies that we'll be encountering soon as we progress throughout the game. So let's just make sure we prepare for it. Fire! That's gonna make catch. That's gonna catch fire. Okay, let's keep on going. Maybe I can find a horse somewhere. But the dueling pigs are dead ahead. So let's keep on going. And there are so many camps. And there's a deer right there. Wait, that's not a deer. Never mind. It's a camp. Let's fight them. Yeah, here I come. You're about to eat some claymore. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this out. Yeah. Come over here to me. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, uh. Get tossed, bitch. You don't want none of this. Uh, uh. Two with one. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That. Yo, yo, that rock really just interrupted my flurry rush. That was funny. I mean, yeah, it was bad for me, but it was funny, honestly. And there's the rock that just stopped me. Damn. But I got him anyway. Doesn't matter, but time to collect these things and get this dude. Uh, eat it! Oh, fuck. Yeah. Headshot. Oh, fuck. Come on. Eh. There we go. Well, let's pick this up and get this treasure chest wherever it is. Uh, there it is. Seared steak. Awesome. Up. What could it be? Another opal. So many valuable items. So, yeah. We're almost at the dual peaks right over there. Let's head over there. Thanks for the arrow. I wish I had a horse. This is going to take a while. Come on. Oh, look at that. 
food. Let's see here. If I can just aim this right. Ah, gotcha. Oh, they didn't notice. Nice. Time to kill these shits. Yeah. Gotcha. And that ram didn't notice either. Let me get the ram. Time for a headshot. Yeah. Fuck. I missed the headshot. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yes, I got him. Yes. Nice. Meat. Oh, look at that. A Korok puzzle. Alright, let's do this. Uh, use a little more strength. And there he is. Yaha, you found me. A Korok seed. Bye bye. Okay, so we got another Korok seed, and like I said before, the Korok seeds can be used for a special person later on in the game. Okay, so we are nearby a Sheikah Tower and the Dueling Peaks. Now it's time for you all to die! Silence! Yeah. Do it, pigs. Ugh. Whoa, no, 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 I just died. Fuck me. Next time. I'm not that far away, so it's no big deal. My commentary is kind of stuttering right now, so yeah. I don't know why. Okay, let's get past these guys. Kill them. Ugh. Eat it! I got them all, yes! Surprised the blue one died so easily. Okay, so let's head up here. Get this chest. What's inside? Ooh, a soldier shield looks so snazzy. Awesome. Alright, we're almost there. Almost to the Shika Tower and the. You know, Dueling Peaks. Alright, oh shit! Come on. Get it! Oh wait, gotta collect that. Key swing. Key swing. Wait, there's one more thing. Key swing. Three key swings. And, is that a... It's a ram! Oh shit, that was close. Alright, you're gonna die for that. Look at on my platter. Ugh. Die. Die. I'm using your remains to kill your friends. Oh, there's more of them? Eat it! Oh. Ugh. Uh. Eat it! Okay, they're done. Let's collect their remains from their carcasses and head on forward. So the dueling pigs are right there. Let us read this sign. Proxon Bridge and Dueling Pete Stable. And what is that? Whoa, what is that? That's awesome. What is that? I have no idea. I've got to find out in another video. Wow. Even I haven't gotten far enough to see what those things are yet. I have no clue what they are. What is this? A sneaky river snail. Awesome. Must be a potion ingredient. Ooh, another puzzle. Alright. Gotta fight the current now. Up. Up. Eh. Come on, we can make it. One more. Yes. Come on. Come on, Link. Awesome. Yeah. And we find another Korok. Awesome. Bye-bye. 
Okay, so we are at the Sheikah Tower. So let's climb up there now. And map the area out. Urgh! You want some guy? Did I just say guy? I meant die. Yep. And let's start climbing. I love Link's face whenever he's like tired. So much expression in this game, yes! I am so glad I got this game! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't. Ah, there we go. Nice. Hup. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Okay, how much farther? Not too far. Alright, almost there. Let's go. Keep going. Whoa, no, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. I fucked up right there. Now let's go. Come on. Almost. No, 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 damn, no, come on, come on, Link, yeah, made it, took forever, shit, so let's get ourselves updated with the landscape, do your match, Chica Slate, That blue aura. Activated. Awesome. Scanning area. So this activation is actually kind of special. We actually receive a new power and update to our Sheikah Slate. We get... The... Well, you'll see. Shiga Sensor. And we can actually use this thing to search for shrines. Awesome, right? But no, it's actually kind of annoying. The binging, the dinging, it's just so annoying. In fact, from all the Let's Plays I've seen, everyone has turned off the Shika Shrine Detector. Because the dinging was simply just too annoying. But otherwise, I'll just find shrines on my, on my own. You see, you hear that? You hear that? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm getting triggered! Uh. Oh, look at that! Awesome. Okay, let's, so let's choose this. Oh. oh, shit. I'm actually gonna save my. You know, my. Uh, thingy. This. Oh, well, whatever. No choice. And we got some rock salt. Awesome. Use this in our food. Yeah! Amber, don't fall off, don't fall off. No! Stupid physics engine. Oh well. Oh wait, these are mushrooms. <laughs> okay, almost there. Yeah, you can actually climb up there, which I don't have enough stamina though, so whatever. And there are some Lizelfos swimming down there. That's kind of scary, honestly. There is a shrine right here, but I'm not gonna do it yet. Read the He Shrine. Screw that, I have places to go. Come on. Uh, these guys are so annoying. Die! Alright, I'm almost there. Almost plat almost past this stupid dueling peak place. What could you 
just get the bomb over there. Come on. Okay, I'm not dying again. Screw that. Alright, I gotta escape now. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna leave this right over here for the epic explosion. Now they're all dead, except for that guy. Of course. I'm not surprised. But now he's dead. Wait, never mind. Soldier's broadsword. Yeah. Now he's dead. Goodbye. Lay epic explosion. Yeah. So let's see what they got for us in store. Boomerang. Awesome. I love boomerangs. Now the thing with boomerangs, right? If you throw them, you can actually catch them whenever they come back. Nope, they do not automatically come back to you. You have to throw them, and then once it comes back, catch them. Interesting, right? Awesome. Now, it does seem you're getting used to, but eventually, it gets pretty cool. And man, this stupid, stupid dinging. Okay, there's a shrine right there, but we can't reach it yet. I mean, we can if we climb up there, but don't have the time. Whoa, who's this? Wow. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget the world almost ended a hundred years ago. Hmm. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Elixirs? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for filling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed. Others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. Oh. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge on elixirs. I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here. So I'll give you one of mine. Hasty elixir. Awesome, so we can use it to go faster. Yeah, and increases your speed. <laughs> the recipe is just a high total to the monster parts. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Sagesa. Interesting name. Dueling Peak Stable. And there are a few NPCs here. Honest. Awesome. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Hino? What you doing? What are you pondering? I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research at night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. Whoa, the Blood Moon? What's that? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For a hundred years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. <gasps> really? That's interesting. That's an interesting way of responding enemies. Whoa. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Oh. But if you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. I'll be sure to do that, Hino. So this is the stable. Um, we can actually use this place to register horses. But I'm going to use it to take a nap and end off this video. And Beetle is here too. Nice. The party's all here. Awesome. And there's also a side quest. You can tell by the exclamation points right over their heads. But I will not be taking care of that today. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to end the video off right here. If you in the, if you enjoyed the video, please, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a ton. And it shows your appreciation for the channel. Without further ado, let's end this video. Peace, hyper light nights, and take care. See you guys in the next one.